Grand Rising Kings and sisters from another mister, welcome back to the BMCMC. This is your host, Frederick Harper. Without further ado, I wanted to get into a topic that I hope some of y'all can relate to, and that's stop trying to be a people pleaser. You know, this life that we are living now, man, everybody is on social media, everybody's watching TV, everybody's taking in thoughts and comments of their peer group and their friends, and we don't focus on what is on your heart to do, okay? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something real deep. There are only three kinds of people in this world. There's three kinds. First is the people that are gonna love you unconditionally. This may be your family, this may be close friends, this may be coworkers. These are your great cheerleaders. You have another group of people that just will not like you. They're going to hate you no matter what you do, what you say. There's no deed, no action, no process that you can go through or give them that they're going to be in your corner or root for your greatness. And then you have what I call neutrals. These are people that are indifferent. They don't care either way. They don't like you. They don't hate you. They are just not concerned with you. Go where the love is. Go where the people who appreciate your message, appreciate your work, and appreciate you as a man. I say that about relationships with women. I say that about business. And I say that about friendships. The people that care about you, your victories are their victories. Your triumphs will become theirs. Your failures will be theirs because they are invested in you. All this stuff about worrying about being a people pleaser and trying to kiss other people's ass to earn their affirmation is a waste of your time. Not only as men, but as people in general. So remember that, all right? Another thing is you need to find and focus on your niche. You know, every one of us, every one of us has a talent, has a blessing, has something we can give to the world that's on our heart to do. And nobody is going to be all in or agree with the things that you're saying all the time. There's a lot of people I like. I don't agree with everything they say, but I still can appreciate and learn from the things that they do have to say. But find your niche. We're living in a secular world now. Everything is broken up into groups. Things are diced up and you need to find out where your people are and cling to those kind of people. So that would be the first part I'll tell you about this. Another one is not everybody's going to like you. And that's okay. Your mama said that to you a long time ago. Most black mamas tell their children when they go through adversity, baby, you know what? Everybody ain't going to like you. And that's okay. And you know what? Why would you expect that? Shit, you don't like everybody. So stick to the people that care about you. And I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all walking around here trying to please people that wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. They don't care about you. If you go broke, they won't feed you. They can't open a door for you. They can't help you in any way, no matter what you do for them. So don't waste your time in those arenas. The last thing I'll tell y'all brothers, which is a big, big thing, is look for comprehension over communication. You know what? I try to communicate messages to people all the time, but there are some people that just can't comprehend your vision. And that's okay. Leave them alone. It's just like dealing with a child. You ever been in a store and you see a child on the floor because they can't have ice cream or something and they're losing their shit. They're on the floor screaming and hollering. They don't understand that the parent is trying to keep them healthy. The parent is saying you need to eat food before dessert because they can't comprehend it. And it's the same way when you're dealing with certain people. You can't walk up on no woman and say, look, baby, if you take that weave out your head, if you take them five inch eyelashes off your eyes, if you stop trying to do too much with the makeup, you may, you'll look better. You may attract a better kind of man because they can't comprehend that. Some people think that's the only way for them to look beautiful. So what I'm trying to tell y'all brothers is stick with the groups of people that can comprehend your message people that care about what you're doing and can internalize and understand what you're trying to give in a positive way we walk around trying to be things that we aren't and it frustrates us it it, it stirs your soul in a negative way and that's another powerful point i'll tell y'all brothers know who you are and more importantly and just as importantly should i say is know who you are not we walk through this life trying to be something for other people that we are not 
You know, you got men out here walking around trying to act like women. Women out here trying to walk around, move like men. Little dudes trying to act like they big and nerds trying to act like they thugs. Be who you are and, and, and lean into that. And you'll find that you will find the right people that want to be around you. You will click with the right people. Last but not least, work within three groups. There's three kinds of groups you need to have in your life. I call it the 33 and the third rule. You have one third of people that are a little bit behind where you are. They're trying to get to where you are and you can give them knowledge. You can give them tips. You can open a door for them. You have another 33 and a third that is your peer group. People doing things that you're doing, people that you can bounce ideas off of, and those that you can relate to and that are kind of on the same path as you. And then you have the upper 33 and a third. These are people that can open a door for you that you had no chance of opening. What was extremely difficult for you is like that of ease for them. Somebody that could just make a phone call and, and get you a job. Could just share your post and another thousand people will listen to your message. Look for these kind of people as well. So you have your three groups. All right. So my main message to brothers out here is, man, stop walking around trying to please people and please God and yourself. Do what's in your spirit and in your soul to make you a better man, to make you a better father, a better husband, a better employee, a better businessman. Work on building you. And everything, I tell you, everything in life will eventually fall into place for you because God likes a person who's putting in the work and you can't skip steps and you can't be worried about what other people are thinking because you know what? What you eat shouldn't make them shit and it's not your business what they think about you. All right. So with that being said, brothers, I hope you have a great weekend. Stay in touch with everything that you need to be doing. Stay on your purpose. Stay on your grind. And remember, most of all, that the black man can. And if you ain't know, you better ask somebody. Peace.